I remember feeling, uh, having done all my work on stage at this point, virtually all of it, um, who am I playing to? An audience is out there somewhere, and, and the energy and and uh, um, um, the energy that you have to give vocally and emotionally, basically the emotional energy. How big does it have to be in your mind? I, I was studying, by the way, with somebody at the point at that point, the um, a, a technique of film acting that was working with ideas, not lines, ideas, and looking at a cold line you hadn't seen before in a scene and looking up and making contact and saying that. So in conjunction with that training, uh, I learned a good deal on, uh, in, in, uh, on the Peyton Place. Um, worked with, a, with an actor named, um, oh, oh, come on, David. Um, he, was, he was a doctor on the show. I'll think of Ed Nelson? Name. Ed Nelson, thank you. He played Dr. Rossi. Dr. <laughs> Rossi, of course. Um, sorry, Ed, but um, Ed told me, and he was, he was playing a different kind of character, but he said, son, he said, the important thing is not to commit yourself to, a, uh, to a, an idea, to say everything kind of gray, because next week you're probably going to have to contradict yourself. So it's safer to be, well, for Dr. Ed, Dr. Rossi, that was probably good advice. I thought it was the worst idea I'd ever heard in my life. So I concentrated on playing, um, as committing myself as far as I could to every line and being um, fundamentally spontaneous um, on film rather than to be a surprise, to make the character surprised. What he's going to say next, you, you don't know. If it's, if it's a contradiction of last week, fine. We've all contradict ourselves. Um, I learned a lot from, from Ed. I learned a lot on that show. And um, I was in, in the Hollywood thing then. <laughs>